Hey guys, it's Mikey. Today we're talking about thrifting. Is thrifting worth it? Thrifting is going to stores where they sell items that have been donated. They get most of them for free. Resellers go thrifting to buy stuff to sell online, sell at flea markets, sell on Facebook Marketplace. There's many ways you can buy stuff and flip it from a thrift store. They have everything from coffee makers, clothing, books, bicycles, lawn equipments. Most of it's used merchandise. Do you guys think it's gross to use something from the thrift store? Like used shoes or shirts after cleaning? I certainly don't think so. The used clothing business is a huge industry. People like me like saving money on items and not paying retail. You can find awesome bargains in here for a tenth of the price of what you would pay brand new or in different stores or even online. It's kind of a bargain hunt. We're going to go in today to this Goodwill and see if we can make it worthwhile and profitable and see if thrifting is really worth it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be. We're gonna go with the lucky cart method today. I think this is the lucky cart. All right, first up, let's go see. We got this brand new rack over here. A hot dog steamer. Oh, Super Court would not approve if I brought a hot dog steamer home for 15 bucks only, though. I don't see kind of a brand. It's, man, $15 for a hot dog steamer seems like a bargain. I could be steaming some dogs right now. Espresso guys for only ten dollars. This thing probably shoots in espresso capsules. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be worth it. It all looks great condition, so we're gonna bag that one. Boches. Alright guys, you see these little bearsies, you know. Little dead action. Jim Shark can be a bolo, so check that out, Jim Shark. There's some pretty nice looking Adidas. Let's definitely uh, check out the comps on these things. Some NMDs. So they look pretty sweet. The price. The price is only a 10 spot, so that's a dealie. I think we're gonna bag those. All right guys, I bounced on this thing so many times when I was a kid. I think this is a knockoff since I don't see it's branded, but let me know in the comments if you guys ever bounced on one of those. Definitely something to consider while you're at the thrift store is your time. Sometimes you don't even find anything. Like, it might be easier if you have transportation problems, weather problems, to maybe poach things online and consider online arbitrage. But I got a lot of thrift stores within my area. It's sunny, they're easy to get to, so I continue to source from them. All right guys, you definitely know that gloves can be good. I don't know if a Miller, a light beer, it's not even Miller, just light beer, Taiwan glove, no other branding. Oh, Spalding. It's a Spalding Easy Flex softball glove. Let's see what the price is out of that. Five, $5. I think this is going to be worth it. This is brand new. Let's bag it. All right, guys, I had my suspicions, even when it just said light beer on the outside and Spalding. This thing doesn't have any sold, so we're definitely going to skip on that bad boy. Too bad, it's pretty cool, but it's a passer. Are thrift stores worth it? They certainly are for me. I spent a lot of time in thrift stores. I spent a lot of time looking stuff up, researching, studying other sellers, looking to see what they sell, what they share on Instagram. I share some back myself. So, thrift stores are definitely worth it. You just gotta know what you're looking for. You gotta put in some time, but the more you know, the more you can make per hour. I have some friends that kill it. Every time they come into a thrift store, they can look at different little sections and they can find profits in every category. I'm always trying to expand my knowledge of profitable, fast selling things to look for. This is a good place to learn. YouTube, I've learned so much stuff and I've had great times following along with all kinds of awesome content creators. So now I'm just passing along my knowledge and hoping you guys are enjoying this. So if you find any value in it, don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing. It helps us out. We're trying to get to that 2K. It's coming up quick. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. All right, guys. So we have this Nespresso. The guy that checked this out, he was like, oh, man, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. He was, he was touching my Nespresso and all that. 
think it's missing that that piece right there but I think I'll be all right I think this thing might even be brand new too it looks so clean right there and if this works this might be my traveling one so I don't have to worry about it I always say I want to take my own because on the road coffee just isn't that good but these Nespresso capsules tasty and delicious I'm hooked we're definitely gonna bag this one all right we got this gym shark tank top I mean this is not a lot of profit but it's a good in-demand product so I like selling good in-demand products it gets the store activated and going someone's gonna enjoy this thing all right guys this is 2018 Grateful Dead I don't care the sell-through on it if you get some dancing bears man it's cool I wish I could fit into it I'm not gonna be able to but definitely a cool shirt I'm not even looking up the comps I'll take it all right and these Adidas we check these up these go for 30 40 and up so they're pretty good condition I'm happy with them so I think this trip has definitely been worth it I've only been here maybe less than 40 minutes friends it's time for the second stop I hope we find some good stuff in here first stop was incredible I'm very pleased if they could all be like that two three stops a day some decent dough let's keep it rolling See what we can find. I see some new racks. Love the new racks. Let's see if our boy Huey is here. Huey Dewey, are you here? Okay, now this is when thrifting isn't worth it. $150 Goodwill. This thing's in ill condition, and you're asking $150. That is definitely not friendly. And gal jean, friends, come on now. That is not worth it. But look at this, guys. If you're outdoor, you want to go sailboarding. How much for the sailboard, guys? Is it going to be worth it? Oh, another $150. Guys, these guys think they're played in sports. Guys, this camo duffel looks kind of interesting. Oh, holy cannoli. $60. Now, this is the good, this is the outrageous price people are talking about. $60, not even branded. A lot of times, Goodwill, they don't even know. They just guess. So there's no reason they should have marked this thing for $60 as far as I can tell. And probably no one's going to buy it. Someone's going to buy that in the bins. All right, guys, if you see stuff that is Sony, it's always worth looking up for sure. So I checked this thing out. I have no idea what it is, but it's got a little barcode you could scan and check out these comps. Lovely, lovely comps. So for only a $5 investment, easy to list, easy to ship. We're going to pick that up. Thank you. Oh, yeah, smells like Doc Martens. Let's see what we got going on here. Doc Martens can be good, but oh, got a hole busted out through the bottom of there. What are they asking for that? The busted hole on the bottom of the sole. Busted hole on the bottom of the sole, $30. Yeah. Ouch. All right, guys, look at these are 1970s Ziggy's Suds Mug. Now, you think because you'd see something just from the 70s that it would be worth something, but I've looked them up and they, they are worth a little something, but. They don't sell through. The sell through is not good. So who wants to buy these and sit on them? They take up a lot of space. They're breakable. You can't stack them. So let's passy. At that stop, I only found one item. I am very picky, choosy, and ready to move on. I'm going to hit one more store. and one educational solar robot what that's value there folks let's see what else we can find in here solar placer gps case oh, i want the gps let's see what else we got oh that's a gold coast resort uh one of those things you put in front of your windows because it's hot in vegas what's in here a gat oh Nope. PlayStation Rock Band. That yeah, looks in good condition. Don't see anything wrong with it. Of course, they don't have a price on here. Guys, what's the price? What is the price? 
So guys, plenty of art here. If you want outdoor patio furniture, you can get anything you want thrifting. Like I said, it's definitely worth it to come in. Even if you've not never bought used before, you should really come in and see what you can get. You would be surprised at the gems that are in great condition and you can take home for a bargain. All right, guys, I literally said hi to a guy here that works here because I'm friendly. Mikey Bags is a friendly guy. He saw I had my drum set right there. He's like, hey, I think I got the sticks in the back. I was like, cool, dude, I'll wait. Anyways, so he's brought, we got a Fender Jaguar. I don't even know if the Jaguar, wow, could be pretty good. So Fender Jaguar, we got some sticks and a microphone. Now I have two microphones that have not sold, but I'll take another one. We'll see We'll see what they're gonna price it at. No, it's got a price. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. Hopefully, use my charm. All right, guys, pick this one up. Uh, one of the employees was like, here you go, Mikey Bags, for you. So thank you so much, I appreciate it. And then I came by here and found this little, remember what I said, guys, Sony, DVD, VHS, player combo. Wait till you see the comps on that. I have the same exact shirt. It's not that great of a brand, Cook Street, but it's a cool purple shirt. I took a picture with it on my Instagram. I think I'm going to twin with the Super Court now. Hey, yo. Let's see what we're hitting at the checkout. Super core shirt, DVD. We got the Harley shirt because why not? It's only two dollars. And our other goodies. There wasn't a price on that. The guy said you would, you guys would price it. Well, this and that is a set. So it's going to be uh, fourteen ninety nine for this set. Guys, we have got all that for $29. They priced it $15 for the set, but a boom, niceness pays. Thank you so much. I appreciate, I appreciate people. Be nice, nice things happen. So $29, we got the PlayStation Fender Stratus Coaster Jaguar. Oh, I knew it was gonna be sexy since it said Jaguar. The comps are out of this world. That rock band set, the drums, Dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig -a the drums awesome comps on that too easy shipper just put in a big box and pray to the shipping gods and we picked up that vcr with an incredible like three to one sell through rate incredible finds guys if you haven't figured it out the thrift store is definitely worth it till next time mikey bags we out